Hey, you can see that. Hey <coughs> started. Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop again. Uh, it's the first Saturday of December. Christmas is coming around very smartly. Um, we had a little drop of rain here before, not nothing to uh, more than to dampen the, the dust. Anyway, um, I've decided to christen this machine. This is a machine that's come in recently, as I've noted. Um, I've decided to christen it the Jimbo uh, in honour of my father, my mentor. Um, compared to the other, the other one, the other machine, uh, which um, I called the Thomas, um, in name of my favourite uh, favourite youngest son, who worked with me here. So what we're going to do, we've got we've cleaned the machine down. Um, we started to put in a DRO, for a full um, access DRO. Uh, we've, uh, we'll go more into that in another movie. And what the first item we need to do is to actually to raise the ram up and put a, a riser block in um, so that we've got an advantage of height between the table and here. So uh, over here is the riser block. It just arrived from, um, uh, it just arrived from Taiwan. Um, if you come closer here, we can see the uh, how it's all finished off. This has got a it's got a tongue in it that'll go in the groove here, um, and the tongue here will go into this groove. So this has been standing for 16 years as is. So we've um, we may have to do a bit of break away from from that connection from the tongue, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then we're going to raise it up now in order to lift it. What I've done, if you come around here with a camera, mate, what I've done is I've, I've put two beams up on the, uh, in, across the, the ceiling above the two um, trusses and I've made a dropper down, a double dropper down from there with a beam across and a bolt through the, um, uh, through the, pull, the pull thread and put a piece of uh, booker rod in there, a piece of um, threaded rod and that's what I'm using to lift and to stabilise the, um, the head. So I'm trying to lift, uh, originally I planned to lift it through here, but this is an aluminium casting, and I was concerned that the max weight we've got here uh, would be a problem. So that's bolted through, and that's the primary lifting, is through that shaft. And then the auxiliary uh, at the back here, just for balance, because most of the weight is in this area here. Um, so this will take a bit of weight, that'll take the most, and I'll put a sling here just uh, as, a, um, as a precaution in case that bolt breaks, but I don't believe that will happen. So without further ado, I'm going to tension everything up, um, and we'll see if we can break this bond. I'll release the bolts off a bit more. I've also made the mention that I cut a window in here in order to be able to get inside to the spider. To line up the spider, there's a spider in here that clamps through these bolts that clamps the two parts together. <coughs> and um, once this is positioned, we'll need to make some longer bolts to fit it. Um, so I'll just release those off a bit more. I'll go around the other side and do the same. Uh, it's not moving at, the, at this point in time. I imagine it's bound up uh, because of uh, rust and long, a long period of time. I'll just release that a bit, a bit more. I can, the spider is dropping. I can feel the spider actually. The bolts have dropped. That means the spider has dropped. So let's release a bit of pressure. Um, and there's not much more, much, much thread in there. So once that releases, uh, the spider's dropped. We'll now see if we can break that bond uh, by uh, tickling up the crane. First, got a bit of weight on that, it's broken away here, and now we'll come to the other side. And start jacking it up from the front. These are here just as a proportion. We've got it free. Yeah. As you can see, the thing has come free. I've chosen to use uh, Acme thread so that there's less work to be done while screwing it up. I'm going 
go back there and, and pull another little bit on the, uh, you can see the gap opening up here. Well, that's not going to come anymore, so what we're going to do is release the bolts out more. Otherwise we're pulling that spider back up again. You can feel it inside there. I'll just leave that. Unfortunately I can't do this while attacking the other bolts on the other side. Break free shortly from out of that uh, out of that tongue once we lift it a bit more. I put a block of wood in there to stop the spider from falling down inside. Okay. a little bit at the back. Got that up a bit. Yep. Yeah. Up. One more. Take the front. We've been handy with two people, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's coming free. Oh, we're up against the spider again. Well, yeah, we can basically release that spider. Any short bolts. And rusty. That won't matter, we'll take that out afterwards. We're actually free now, we're almost uh, fully free from the tongue. threads up and everything and put some oil on there, whatever oil from the factory probably, which surprises me because uh, normally they're very good the time of these when it comes to, especially 16 years ago, it's quite a while. Um, okay. How many minutes is on that? You see there, Butcher, on the, on the recording? No. Okay. It says nine something eighteen. It's nine minutes. That could be the case. And twenty one seconds. Yeah, the numbers are moving. spatters these days shiny, I don't know why. The old, the old ones used to be a rough probe and they were much much better, much less likely to drop the spanner. Well so far so good. 
We're going to play it. Yeah. It yes. was the previous time when I when I did with a smaller build. It's gone. Uh, this one replaces no, it. Sa, sa. It's um. Koevli nachzikacha. It's uh. It was it was a terrible job, and there's two of us worked on it. It's much much easier. So I think that's we're doing well, and I won't bore you at all with um, with the rest of this. Uh, uh, I'll just um, I'll just continue on. We'll get the we'll get the um, riser block fitted. Then I, I've got all the all the, the, the clean up here and oil and so forth. And we'll see you back with uh, number two of the uh, the long neck Jimbo. Right.